Let me ask you a question. How many of you want to save time from your life? The, The answer, answer is thousands, millions, and even billions of you. Then we have the perfect solution for you. Oh well, want to know that? That, that is Microsoft, Microsoft Excel. Excel. Now you may think why Excel is so eminently required. Normal life, career, professional life. This software is obligatory. You may be a teacher and want to grade thousands of students with the assist of two or three clicks. You may be a businessman and want to compile, filter, and even organize your data. You may be a researcher and want to prominently do many experiments. You may be a student and want to be more organized and have immense expressions. So, what are you going to learn from this course? This course has covered everything from data entry to printing. Not only this, we have even merged mathematics and programming with Excel. Yeah. So what are you getting from this course? In this course, you are getting 100 practice files which you can say your homework along with the solution. You even have the chance to get mentoring support from us. So, why wasting any more time? Join, Join us, Suhaima Mustafa and Safwan Mustafa, the, the dynamic siblings, and discover the hidden magic in yourself. Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another lesson of the Microsoft Excel Boss course and Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Safwan Mustafa. I hope many of you know me from the PowerPoint Pro course or the Quizmaster course. Well, you see, I'm back again with another super duper course with my sister, of course. Okay, so it's a completely different world. Um, if I tell you about Excel in simple words, well. I hope you all are going to have a wonderful journey throughout this course. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get the ball rolling. At first, my dear friends, we have to learn about some more terminologies in Excel. In the previous lesson, we have learned about some terminologies and in this one, in today's lesson, we are going to learn some more of them. First of all, you have to know that what is an excel uh, worksheet known as so if i show you let me go to file so you see it's known as a workbook so basically it's known as a workbook and next what you have to know is the name of this sheet so it's known as worksheet in microsoft excel that's great now you have to notice one more thing that is if you go here you're going to see a plus sign well you see this is one sheet in excel and suppose if you want to create multiple excel sheets then what you have to do click on the plus sign it is as simple as that great Next, what we have to know is about the boxes in Microsoft Excel. Well, uh, this is for your kind information that in Excel, each and every box has a name. Well, they are known as cells. So cells, suppose these boxes are known as cells, And when I click on any cell, here you see a green color border appears. What it symbolizes is that the cell is right now active. All right, so suppose when the cell is active, we call them active cells. And when the cell is active, you can write anything. Suppose I wrote cells. 
That's great. Now, one more thing to notice here. Did you notice one thing? When I wrote cells, the same data is appearing over here. Well, in Excel, it is known as the formula bar. What the formula bar does is, suppose in the later lessons you are going to learn, when you will write a function in Microsoft Excel, so the function used on a particular cell will appear on this formula bar. That's great. So we can keep track of our data very efficiently using this formula bar. Brilliant. Next, at last, you have to know is about the name box. Now I was telling that each and every cells in Microsoft Excel has a name. Suppose, let me select any cell on random, like this one. Here, you see just beside the formula bar, there is another box. And this one is known as the name box. Okay, so here you see the cell which I have selected now, its name is E8, E8. So how does Excel give a name to the cells? Well, it's really easy to understand. You see, the cell is basically given a name with the help of the column and the row number. So the column, the column letter, and the row number. So you see, the cell which I selected was right in column, under column E, and it was in the 8th row. So it equals to E8. That's great. And now comes a fact. Well, it's good to be informed actually. So let me tell you an interesting fact of Microsoft Excel, that is, there are 10,48,576 rows, my god. So if I say it internationally, it's going to be 1,048,576. And in terms of columns, there are 16,000. 384. Well, so you see, it's a giant worksheet to work with. Well, everyone, that's it for today's video. Hope you'll enjoyed it. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn about something really interesting. And I'm sure you don't want to miss out that one. So go and watch the next video. Till then, stay well, stay safe, and adios.